वेलकम टू योर लाइव गुड मॉर्निंग द मॉर्निंग शो डबल डी ग्रीन मैन के जी एन ऑसोलेशम जिन जिस तबे वी गोइंग टू बी जॉइन बाय अस गेस्ट टुडे दिस मॉर्निंग ही गोस बाय द नेम ऑफ ग्लोसन टे हु इज ओनली 18 इयर्स ऑफ एज एंड ही इज अ को डायरेक्टर ऑफ ग्लोसन सिंडरियन बरहाट व्हिच प्रोड्यूस द स्पीड मैंडरिन एप्लीकेशन ऑलराइट ही एंड यस द थिंग इज What we did in Malaysia, this company apparently they developed an app in 2013 to be part of a competition to develop a simple smartphone application that goes through the learning methods of Speed Mandarin. But even though they lost to apps such as Alert the Police when the Express Bus goes too fast application, the learning methods continue. So what they've done is they continue to develop this app and they spend the whole of 2015. filming the content and developing the application to be available on those three platforms okay which is android ios and also the web finally they've launched the app in march 2016 and was covered by various press and media he's already in the studios we'll take come back right after this one and find out more about the application check the demons and the players tease me good morning tracks of m This is Tracks of Amazon Morning Show Green Man myself Double D and in the studios like I just give you a brief preview our guest today who's uh, only 18 years of age or have you aged more than that close in um no I'm 18 you're 18 my man good morning and welcome to the program close in interesting name first can we start with your name a uh, glosen was that stand for anything okay um well while wow, you're really going in this direction <laughs> <laughs> okay um well my mom Uh, said like if she got a girl, she would name her like Gloria. Fine. Uh, but she got a boy, so like you can't put Gloria, so it's Glow Sun. Gl- oh, Glow I see. Sun. <laughs> right. And yeah. are you trying to get even with her just because she gave you the name? Um, no, I I like it. It's fine. <laughs> it's interesting. It's very interesting. First time I've come across. Well, we'd like to welcome you to Tracks FM. Thank you for making the time to be here today. Yeah, you're welcome. You're you're a pretty impressive guy at 18 years old. You're coming up with stuff like this. Uh, you know, eight, other 18 year olds are are doing other things, perhaps. And and uh, what what sets you apart? What makes you different from them? Um, well, I'm I don't know. Maybe it's because I created an app uh, yeah. called Speed Mandarin that uh, helps people learn Mandarin. Um, but I'm not that different from other kids. They also code. They also. Um, Uh, do other things, but may not have gotten the opportunity to do an app. Well, like Glosin, people like Greenman and I, when we were 18, uh, we didn't have computers to begin with, so coding was <laughs> not an option. <laughs> I right. kid you, I kid you not. You know, fascination was picking up a cockroach and watching it on the road. <laughs> but no. uh, at, at a very young age, uh, well, to just get it all started. And uh, when did it all start for you, man? Before you coming up with the idea of developing the app, how young were you when you actually? Show this interest in computing and wanting to code and whatnot. Well, um, I, uh, uh, my father, you, um, he got me using the computers when I was three. Oh wow! Okay, what does <laughs> yeah. your dad do? Is he in the computer line as well? Um, yeah, sort of. Okay. So I got on a computer at a very young age and started playing computer games. Right. And whatnot. And uh, I use the internet for a lot of uh, learning, and uh, doing my own research, uh, finding pictures of animals. Right, right. Um, Helped you a lot in, in your studies. Uh, the computer did. Well, not really. It's more lo- no? okay. like a co-curricular activity. All right. And uh, when I was ten, I uh, my parents helped me start a blog. Um, <laughs> so I was one of the youngest bloggers. During that time, because blogging was just uh, you know becoming popular back then in 2008, so um, I started a blog on whatever interesting I learned. Well, give <coughs> us a, give us a few examples. What, what yeah, was the what first? Yeah, what were you blogging about? Y- yeah, what was a 10-year-old I... blogging <laughs> back then? <laughs> okay, I blogged on how to remove my chicken pox in using Photoshop. Okay. <laughs> uh, but you did that with you did that with Photoshop. He removed his chicken pox uh-huh. scars using Photoshop. Yeah, right. Not literally removing chicken pox. As <laughs> no. In, okay. Is, but, okay. But how to do it on computer, right? Yeah. Okay. And I also blogged about my cats and edit captions. Right. And did you get a lot of response back then? Again. Well, uh, f- 
for the first six months, not so much. But right. uh, during the second half of the year, I uh, started to network with other bloggers and get a more um, more popular response and got a lot of tweets and comments as well. Um, so that sparked it for you. Yeah, which is great. Then I started to uh, blog about more technical stuff such as uh, how to use WordPress to Im- improve your blog. Mm-hmm. Uh, something like 22 things you should do after you started your WordPress blog. Right. And I also have stuff on English grammar, like nine confusing confusions in English grammar. For example? <laughs> <laughs> okay, for example, um, well, in formal usage, uh, it is me is actually not correct, but I mean it's accepted as informal now, but actually it's not for- formally correct. So the formally correct is it is I. So it's that's, I, it is I. It is that's I. why you hear all the villains say it is I. <laughs> it is I. The only yes. pers- yeah. Well, all that started, and you were doing all this in the midst of your studies, finishing your. PMR and then coming SPM and then now you are an app developer at the age of 18. And it all started way back in 2013 when the MCMC had this whole uh, Malaysian uh, Developers Day. Tell us how did it all start because if you said all about blogging about animals, cat with captions, <laughs> right. technical English grammar, and then a Mandarin, a speed Mandarin app. Why this particular app came to mind? Well, um, okay, so... Um, I entered this contest expecting nothing. Brilliant. Because I, my parents like forced me to join. I <laughs> know it's not they, they didn't force me. They just encouraged me to join. So I was like, okay, okay. Since it's a, a app development thing, just join. I was expecting nothing. So I just joined. It was in Western Hotel. And the food there was brilliant. Uh, right. You're talking about food here. You're talking about coding. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and then um, we had to assemble a team, uh-huh. find our own team members. These are random people who attended that, that whole thing? Yes, we had to find random people as our team. Or if you came as a team, then I mean... That's a bonus, added bonus in it. Yeah, but since I came alone, I had to um, you know, find my own people. And... Um, I had to find a designer, uh, you know, have to find people that can help to make this into a real- reality. And I think most of the ideas were uh, come out on the spot. So my team came up with an idea to not do Mandarin, but do a sports booking app. Okay. Actually. Sports booking app. Yeah, wait. What are we talking about here? Yeah, uh, uh, just hold on. Uh huh. <laughs> and hold then, your horses. Yeah, and then um, in the first twelve hours, they like, oh my gosh, let's do this. Um, and they all like uh, tried to do this app, but then after twelve hours, it uh, they didn't really work out because they were amateur coders. So my mom came in and like, hey guys, why you guys you- cheated? Uh, you cheated. You no, cheated. No, no. Your mom no. came in. <laughs> Mother's no best. They came, okay. She came yeah. in to save the day. Yeah, she came in and say, hey, why don't you um, do this idea for an uh, application for speed Mandarin with learning methods that I have developed since the year 2000 and uh, have been teaching kids and adults with uh, um, very great effectiveness. Um, so incorporate these learning techniques into an app so that everyone can learn Mandarin. Is your so, mom a, a Mandarin tutor? Yes, she. Don't she. As a matter of fact, moms. she does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good morning, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> What's mommy's name? Grace. Good morning, Mrs. Grace. Hello, Grace. Yeah. How are you doing? So All go right. on, and yes. Then, and then you interrupted him, and then you said, "I want to say, mommy, <laughs> hello, hi." <laughs> Um, well, then my team was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Good idea, yeah? Good idea. And yeah. then they, uh, we all started for the next final 12 hours to um, quickly, you know, put this thing into an app. Right. Into a mock-up app. Yeah, then uh, enough to, you know, pre- be presentable to the right. judges. Right. And then at the end of it, uh, what happened? 
Well, at the end of it, uh, well, we didn't win. Okay. Um, because, well, uh, I guess our coding skills weren't that good, you know. But right. what's most, uh, I feel that what people were most impressed with was our learning methods. Okay. So they were quite intrigued and impressed about how we taught Mandarin um, and how they were able to learn so easily and with fun. And how did you teach Mandarin to make it easy and fun? Teach, teach us something this morning. Well, well, that, that's, make it easy and fun. Well, that's the app itself. I think we should download the app, right? Right. Um, yeah, sure, you we, can. Ah, but sure, I but can. I can give you a... Give us an app. Uh, right, yeah, go on. Go yeah, for it. all right. So, uh, for example, the... Mandarin for cat cat is Mao 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 easy so how Mao. how we teach you to remember the word now because when we teach you more and more you uh -huh. forgot, oh my, what is cat again yeah, you think so, of a naughty cat <laughs> Mao. so we think so we came come up with and the in closest possible English sound English word um, which is mouse Mouse? So Mao Mouse. So we put Mao catches mouse. Cat catches mouse. So okay. Yes, yeah. I would remember that. Mao, Mao catches, catches mouse. Yeah. Right. Everyone mouse. repeat after me. Right. Mao catches mouse. I bet Mao catches, catches, catches mouse. mouse. Oh mouse. Okay. <laughs> yeah, mouse. So, and we have like uh kind of like songs in the app too. Okay. And further enforce that like Mao catches mouse. Mouse catches mouse. Come on, Didi. He's in advanced level. Wow. Mouse. 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 Now I would never forget the word Mao means cat in Mandarin. Yeah, that's it. Brilliant, man. We know we're gonna take a short break, and you know what? You and I should download the app right now, and let's see how many other songs there is in that app. We could do that. Our guest this morning, Glossin Glossin Tay, yeah, eighteen years old, co-director of Glossin Tay and Burhad, right here in our studio. Pharrell Williams, happy, and that one is one of uh, Glosin's favorite songs. He is in the studio. If you're just tuning into the broadcast, the morning show, Green Man Double D, and Glosin, who is 18 years of age, who has got his very own speed Mandarin applications out uh, on all platforms Android, iOS, and also the web. And Diddy's trying to sign up for it right now. Yeah, I'm signing right. up. So why would I sign up? Yeah, Green and, and what is there? What is there for, for, for people as young as you? who are really interested into getting to know about apps and things like that and, and they don't know where to go. What do they need to do? Well, um, well, the event I attended was uh, Malaysia's Developers Day, which uh, it was in 2013. It's uh, happening every year. So, and it's happening this year too, uh, on uh, September 23rd at uh, KL Convention Center, I okay. believe. KL Converge 2016? Um, Is that it? I'm not sure if it's called KL Converge. It was last year. Yeah. But this year, um, I'm certainly it's called Malaysia D Developers Day. Okay. Yeah, in conjunction with KL Converge. With Converge where, 2016. In fact, I was there last year. I saw a lot of young developers uh, from school, colleges, had robotics, they've code some robots. Mm. I've seen those, I've seen games, I've seen... Uh, Interesting. Like part of his app right now, 2013, you were lost up, but it was been funded by MCMC to develop and now the app is out and available. Right, and, and what do you say to, to parents? You know, a lot of kids spending time in the computers and stuff. Of course, there should be a, a good balance, I guess. <laughs> but but what do you say to, to parents? I mean, are they like a lot of them are like, no, don't play the computer, get off and stuff like that. But we're seeing... People coming, becoming champions, playing Dota 2 and, and Millionaires. And, you know, making a lot of money doing that and stuff like that. So, is yeah. there something that a lot of the, you know, the parents with the old ways are not seeing that they should be understanding in this day and age? Yeah, something is uh, most parents are like concerned with um, people, uh, with their children playing too many computer games. Mm -hmm. Um, but the thing is, um, uh, actually, my my little brother, fourteen years old, plays a lot of computer games, um, which we, not we, my mom thought was uh, kind of useless and uh, preferred him to do something else. But mm -hmm. he kind of uh, got recently, like in the past year, got into coding. 
Wow, 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 wow. Well, we asked him to code like mobile apps, but he's more interested in coding games,、uh, computer games, and、Fantastic. multiplayer games. He could be a developer, a game developer someday,、yeah, and he, make a lot of money. Yeah,、um, he said like. He's only interested in developing games, so maybe that will change later. Right. Maybe that won't. Right. But、uh, he's really passionate into making games for people.、So、you, you think a lot more schools and a lot more people should actually get into, the, you know, professionally le- learning about computers, coding.、Uh, what else is there? Mapping. Well, coding things, is going to be、right? introduced in our、um, um, Malaysian、uh, curriculum in schools soon. Well, well I hope it's done soon. Yeah, that's、right? great. I I really like that. See, you you're regretting it wasn't there for you when you were around. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Can you imagine what we're thinking of? Oh, <laughs> okay. Why? But, why? 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 But, yeah, but but how does that help one, an individual, when you talk about coding and and knowing all this? Um, I believe it's so important to have at least basic knowledge in coding, uh, in today's world, because、uh, it's the age of、um, computers and information technology, um. And、um, it's like a basic skill in. Oh yeah, okay. I got a really good saying.、Uh, some say there are three most important languages in the world now. The first, in, the first and foremost is English. Second is Mandarin. Third is coding. <laughs> <laughs> it's a universal language it's a, the world speaks. A, there you go. Regardless which nationality you're from, you can still understand code. Coding is a new language, isn't it? That's interesting. <laughs> well, Dustin,、uh, can I ask you this? Since your brother is into gaming and he's also into coding, right? And how old is he again? Fourteen. Fourteen. Now, how much involvement do you have your parents and your brother? Because Do they give him enough time to be spent as to be spent on his computer, and then hey, you know what? Shut it down now. It's school time, and you got to study and focus on your examinations. How does that happen at home?、Um, well,、um, Grace、okay. just pulls the plug. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't save any code work. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> well,、um, my brother actually is into coding、uh, recently for the past year, but、right? he's into gaming longer. And、uh, actually, my mom、okay. is like a single mom, so she kind of、uh, sometimes has no choice but to leave him alone with his games. But luckily, it turned out to have some good,、uh, good results. Good fruit, you know. And I think the results in the future are even going to be better, right? Yeah. It's it's pretty scary because it, you're going to be left behind if you don't know all these things in the future, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. So a lot more parents should actually start understanding. Well, I guess in moderation, everything a good balance of everything, right? Yeah. Do Do you have that good balance yourself? How do you achieve that? Uh, you mean good balance in yeah. work life? Yeah. Work life. <laughs> <laughs> You're only eighteen, my man. Well, um, most of the time I like what I do, so it doesn't really feel like work. It's not work nowadays. <laughs> well, Glosen, for the benefit of our listeners, Bridget, before we started this interview this morning, you said that、uh, you write poems. You're into the arts. Is there more to this Glosen who has just launched this app that the nation should know about?、Um, Your other interests. Well, when. Uh, okay, when I was nine, I was I started writing poetry, and il- at eleven, published my first poetry book. You you have、oh. a book already? <laughs> yeah. Is that available in the But, apps yet? Not yet. Um, well, it's available on Amazon. All right. Um, yeah. Um, but it's a poetry book for kids. For kids. Yeah, for kids. Wow. And I also. Uh, that book also got me into the Malaysia Book of Records. Really, for being the youngest. Yeah, congratulations! Way to go! Thank and, you. And, and, and you know, well, hats off to your mom as well. She's she's been that person who's giving you that pushing hand behind. That. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right. So it all plays a very important part. Everybody together. Yeah. Yeah,、uh, she did.、Um, yeah, if not for her.、Uh, Encouragement and pushing. I would not have released that book,、uh, you know, that early. For sure, and、mm-hmm. and yeah, and and then you have、um, you have a lot of youngsters who are coming up now in this day and age and are getting interested in these apps. And then you have opportunities which the government is is giving you to go and showcase these apps. And at the same time, if you're you're good with it, you actually get a sponsorship sort of like for things. Okay. Are there, are there going on? Are there things like that going on for you? Is that All right, easy? Back to the Malaysia. Uh, Developers Day. So in 2013,、uh, yeah, uh, continued from just now. We,、uh, we 
didn't win, but our methods uh, impressed uh, everyone uh, and also someone from MCMC. So my mom being the uh, socializing <laughs> person, like <laughs> talked to that MCMC person and soon he suggested my mom to apply for this grant, uh, Creative Industry Development Fund, to um, you know see where it takes us because it um, uh, takes our Mandarin program. And so after one year of uh, applying and waiting and stuff like that, we got the grant Fantastic. and we developed it in 2015. Nice. Yeah. And now it's launched. Nice. Uh, yeah, it now it's launched. Mm. Great. It's available on all platforms. So, Glosin, next five years, what are your plans? He's More not apps? stopping there, is he? No. <laughs> uh, well, Different languages, perhaps. You're going to add the word mama because it, Oxford. It's, really <laughs> Oxford just yeah. inducted that word into the Oxford English Dictionary. Ah, wow. Yes, yeah, so just it that's did. news for you. But uh, honestly, besides this uh, Mandarin application, any other application that you have in mind? Don't worry, no one's going to steal your ideas. <laughs> are you afraid? Oh, they are. <laughs> you got to act fast, right? Well, my mom, the other... Last night was uh, coming up with this Arabic... Uh, you know, method for teaching Arabic. Okay. Fantastic. So it's, it's, so, it's languages. Yeah. And she like... Um, she's thinking of doing it for this year's MYDD wow. Major Developers Day so way to go yeah way to go so, so it's about getting languages into, into different kind of languages into apps is what you're interested in yeah yeah right now I uh, don't have any solid plans for the you know what mm. apps now um, just into this speed Mandarin and uh, yeah speed Mandarin yeah so speed what, Mandarin. what does your speed Mandarin guarantee anybody using it it guarantees that you are able to learn whatever that has been taught. Okay. Because um, most other methods, other conventional methods, they use pure memorization. Okay. Yeah. How, how fluent a speaker would I be if I spent uh, a good maybe two or three months on your app? Would there be enough teaching material in there for, for, for it to last for me uh, for two or three months to continue learning? All right. So um, our material uh, in the app, you can... Yeah, probably finish within two or three months. Nice. And by the end of two three months, you would become a um, you. Um, well, we need to develop more modules for you to expand, you know expand further, more yeah. vocabulary. But within two three months, you be a uh, very fluent. As in your uh, in intuition towards Mandarin will be very high. I like that. You, you'll be able to understand the fun how it works, uh, how the sentence structure and the tones and uh, the pronunciations. Right. You'll be, and, you, and because of this, you'll be able to pick up new words like just like that. It's a stepping stone to that new platform that's going to yeah, get you. Yeah, it's the best. Uh, basically, I would call it the best Mandarin beginner online course. Brilliant, I like man. that confidence. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> so, listen, just before we let you go, my dear friend, early this morning, is there any parting words for young developers who are listening to us this morning? Well, um, don't, um, you know, go for it. Go for your developing thingy and... Also, Hope you're developing thingy. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also, if you can join this um, Leisure Developers Day in uh, later this September, because it's uh, it has a lot of exposure for you, and you find it very interesting. Even if you don't know code, you can be a designer. And some coders don't know how to present on stage, so you can help you, them. Right? Yeah. It takes a team, man. One guy developing the UI, one guy developing the coding, the content. Well, it looks like. Uh, Young Pale right. Converge 2016, right? You're talking about? Yeah. Uh, date 22nd to 24th of September at the KL Convention Center, yeah? Okay, it's 22nd to 24th. 22nd to 24th, yeah? Yeah. Okay, All so. Right. I've so. been there last year. It was absolutely amazing. So just before I let you go, uh, Lose teach us something else, man. Besides, Mao catches mouse. Teach us one last thing before I let you go, my friend. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, something about music. Okay, um, okay, I'm going to teach you to say one of the most important words, me, I, okay. Zaya, okay. which is war. War. So, war, you know, we don't like war, so right. we say war, say no war. War, say no war. War, say no war. And, and, right. we, and, and we sing it. Okay. War, war, say, say no, no war. war. No war. 
no war, 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 say no war. <laughs> you know, I'll never forget the word. War, say no war. war. Lovely, wow, Joseph. Thank mouth. you so much, man. Congratulations on your book published when you were young, but now you can just app. Speed, S P E E D, Mandarin. We love to hear from, yeah. uh, to hearing a lot more good things about you uh, in the future, right? Yeah. And there you go. Cheers, buddy. You have a great day and uh, enjoy your holidays and uh, continue developing whatever you can. And we'll be glad to have you in the studios once again. All righty? And regards Alrighty. to your mom as well. Dynamic lady she is. Coming up, we've got the news at nine. This is the morning show, Green Man Double E. Oh, say no, oh, 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 oh